Mr. Indispensable. That is John Podesta, former Clinton campaign chair. He wants a special intelligence briefing for the 538 members of the Electoral College because of allegations that Russia interfered with the election. Napolitano, what's wrong with that? Well, here's what we learned in the past 24 hours. The CIA and the FBI examined the exact same data, which was produced for them by the NSA. The CIA's analysts said the Russians were behind this. The FBI's analysts said there's no evidence that the Russians were behind it. <laughs> but we do know that this was leaking. It was not hacking. Leaking is the unauthorized exposure of something to a person for whom it wasn't intended. Yep. Hacking is the altering of an operational system so you get a false result. You can't affect the outcome of the election by hacking Mrs. Clinton or the DNC. You could affect the outcome of the election if you hacked those who register the voters or count the voters. But can't you affect the election if you hack into the Democrats and release all kinds of nasty stuff about them, but you don't do the same with the Republicans? Except that there's no evidence that this was done by the Russians. But there is evidence for this. Who was harmed? by Mrs. Clinton's extremely careless, Director Comey's words, use of state secrets. Whose agents' lives were jeopardized by her failure to keep these state secrets? The American intelligence community. Okay. And it is more likely than not that members of the American intelligence community leaked to this to Julian Assange than that the Russians did. That is a fascinating hmm. suggestion. <coughs> suggestion comes. It's good from members of the American intelligence community. Is that right? Yes. You've got some good sources. Now, you say that there's a long list of questions.